Hi, Chris here, and uh, today I wanted to talk about something different, something new, something exciting. Um, I would call it, it's the e, UV Make E1 uh, UV printer. Yeah, so, but I'm not talking about the printer itself at this point because I haven't received mine. I got one of the Kickstarter uh, uh supporters not a not a creator i haven't you know received one like other influencers might have but i um have put in for one and it's hopefully soon it will ship but before we talk about you know without having the printer i thought it's a good time to try and learn the software go into the software so i'm going to show you what i learned and and the cool things and we'll go through the software and kind of kind of figure out what's the best thing you know how to do things i will suggest if you have other ai tools like kittle like canva um chat ggt whatever for creating images you may want to use that photoshop or some other stuff editing programs before you bring it into the the software the make it real software because you may want to um have it kind of prepared because you get credits in it with their AI, but you may want to use your own uh, just to save money, especially if you're already paying for, uh, you know, AI in one of these other tools. So why have double, right? So that's one of the suggestions I'm, I'm making, but we'll, we'll go through and look at some of the features that it has and some of the cool setup. And, you know, some of it will look familiar to you. You know, if you use Canva or, or Kittle and some of these other things, you'll see some familiarity. And I don't know if that's because they're working with any of these companies or just in general. So we'll check that out and see how that is. We are on the main Eufy Make uh, website. So I'm going to show you where to find the software for the UV. You go under Make It Real. And under Make It Real UV Printing, that's the one you would click on will bring you here to the start page or, or wherever that this is basically their main landing page which has all these uh, different things that they show you can do with it and some just basically ads just kind of showing you what you can do but you can see the same thing in the next screen so if you go to projects it's going to have more of the detail uh, I mean it's going to have it by category so the same thing we just saw is now categorized it also has projects versus design. So projects are actually like, you know, doing a Tumblr or a iPhone case or something. Design will be more the design, the graphics. Then if you go to the creative lab here, and this is where I was saying that you can use your own AI or you can use some of these things as well um, to try and do stuff. And I think right now this will be, this is all free. There may be some credits for some different things, but let's go look at the subscription screen, which is just showing you right now what they're planning. It doesn't, you can't subscribe as of yet, but you can see what they're planning here. Um, so you have the free, which is what I currently have here. It's the 200 credits AI and all the different things. And then you have the plus and the pro. Um, so if you're a business, you may want to look at a pro or the plus, whatever you want to use. But like I said, if you have your own AI tools that you're already paying for, you know, you want to use those uh, to save some credits and stuff. Um, so let's go to the other things you can publish. So if you have an existing project or design that you want to publish to the community for others to use, you can do that there. You can create a new design here or upload one if you have the file saved. And then under, if you have an account, which I you must create in order to access this, then you will get stuff like your, you know, stuff you created in the different settings and subscriptions. Of course, sign up. So we go to the projects I've already created um, and uh, we can look at some of that or we can create a new one as well, which is this new design. Let's do that. Let's start at the new design first, just to kind of show you. So in the new design, you'll come up first starting at templates. So these are already things that have been built similar to Kittle, uh, I think Canva as well. Uh, let's just go through these. Upload would be if you want to upload your own uh, images. You 
can. There's image AI, which the, you have different types of things you can generate. So you can generate, you know, photos into different things and you can do face swap, which you can put your face onto. Uh, here's Royal or something like that, or any face. It's from whatever image you have, you can generate an image here. Um, these are the different textures that you can add effects. Uh, and here's like the templates. Like I said, when we first landed here, these are graphics that have been done already. There's the elements, um, which are more the individual elements of those graphics. So you can kind of build your own. And then there's the text styles, things that are already here that you can use. Uh, you can also add your own. If we go back to the elements, maybe we're going to start with something like this. Let me adjust my thing a little bit so you can see some of this. So you can scroll in or out or so. Just adjust things a little bit. They show. And so I can use this image. Um, I can then use some different text if I want. You can see this is pretty big. <laughs> so here I have kind of my images. Uh, if you look at this, let's go to something. You can then see the different settings here. So this is the, te the text, the font, the sizing, the color, thickness, um, you know, bold, the usual kind of things, and then opacity and outline as well. It's already outlined. This is not here. And then if you go to an image, you can then crop it, change the opacity, cut it, cut pieces, change it, upscale it if it's not high scale. Uh, layers, so you can have different layers. Some of this stuff that's already built has layers in it, so you can modify the different layers. Um, and um, usual kind of tools for these things. Now, if you click, if you're not clicked on anything, you can change what you're printing on is the flatbed, the standard flutter, the uh, cylinder, the rotary, basically, to film and material. You can say what material you're printing on, the quality, do you want high quality draft? And this one will, it's the white underbase choke, which is how much white that you want showing around things are finished. And then global ink mode is if you want to do a flat and you want everything the same uh, type of ink settings. So if you don't need white, you can just print in CMYK, for example. Now, if you're wanting to do, let's say if we pick both of these Let's see what we if we can do anything here it doesn't looks like uh, you can do flat flat raised so you can have this kind of and then we do that here too just if we wanted to do something cool where that was raised versus some of the other things, and you can choose the different layers too, as well. And this one, you can also do things as well. And there's what's called pattern texture, which will it will choose for you what should be raised versus uh, some of the other things. And you could, if you preview that, it will show you. But it kind of chooses what gets raised versus the others. It just kind of does it itself. You can use a depth map instead that you do in a different tool that will choose what you want to have raised. So that's pretty simple there. And like I said, you can change the the print bed to say cylindrical. And the thing about this is cool. You can 
put it here and then you can preview it. So if you're going to put it on something, and you can change these settings too, like I want like now these things will have to be resized. So there's a lot of times you're resizing it. And then we do a preview. See, it's still kind of small, so I can probably make it bigger. With this, you can choose where on it. Is it on this side or that side or kind of like the front? So if we go back to the preview, this is kind of the front. Which usually on a mug, it's usually this side here. So we can try to move it here more. Preview it, see, it's right here. So that's cool. Um, you can change the different prints in the material, ceramic. I'm not sure how much this really plays into it. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, you can bring in different templates. So if we want to bring in a template, I'm not sure yet. Uh, just looking for something cool. So this barbecue, you can see, so all these things can be changed, right? So I want to go in here and use the arrow keys to move this a little at a time. But say you want to change this. This is probably going to be too big, but now I'm going to move it down. So you can change these things. And the cool thing about this, because there's layers, you can choose, hey, I just want this layer to be flat raised whatever and it will show you what that is so then you kind of know what's been selected if you just want let's say this part to be flat raised right you can do it so when you preview it you can kind of see that the smoke is raised it doesn't render it super great but that's what it will be so this one so if you want to, you can even get this part. We have to go through a lot of the layers to figure out which one it is. There it is. I'm gonna, well, that's actually the fire. So they have a lot, so you may want to, group some of these layers together so that then the whole thing is done. It looks like all these are individual, so you may want to group that. So because this is pre-made, it, 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 um, it takes time to figure out which layer is and all that. So you can make your own. You can also take different elements or you can even delete some of this stuff and then start over. So you can build so many different things using that. Um, I don't know if you can bring in layers, you know, from something. Maybe Photoshop you can, but I've imported stuff from Kittle and it doesn't keep the layers that I can see. So I'm not sure how you exactly do that, but that's one of the things you'd want to do. See how I move that? That's not what I want, but you can hit the undo. So that's really good. It's real powerful, like I said. The, the different things you can do, standard flatbed, cylindrical, and you can do all these different things here.
So, um... So with that, I would encourage you just to play around and try these different things. Like I said, I, if we go to some of the ones I created, I can find this one to show this was done with AI. So this, you add a photo and it will put your face on Royal, for, for example. So I did that. And then you can print this on something really nice if you want. I did something like this. You can also, and I did it with the AI. So this gives you some nice uh, look. Look at it. One I did with an AI, if I have it here. But there's one I actually created that took a, did a brush stroke took a photo I did, so that was really cool. If you can do something like that, you can use some of the texture. But this was pretty cool. Um, like I said, this is color raised, and flat raised, you can do pattern texture, and you can do different things, and like it's, there's textures you can add as well. Um, Go into the texture library. There's these different ones you can do different effects. Um, leaf texture is more for things, different things they already have. So I don't know how that really applies to an image that you already have. So, but with that, you can do some of this stuff. I said AI would remove the background, and I'm not sure. If that costs anything, credits, I don't see a credit thing. Like you can see, Relief Texture has a credit. So that would cost, you know, whatever amount of credits. And you can do that. So I would, like I said, encourage trying this. And there's a lot of cool features to mess around with just before you get, so you, before you get your actual printer. So you can kind of familiarize yourself with this beforehand and, and just take a uh, d deep dive into it and try different things. Obviously you can't print on anything, so you can only kind of preview it, but at least you can have your files kind of ready. So when you do get your printer, you can start testing and you already have everything kind of created and ready. So like I said, get that ready and then you can dive in once you get your printer and uh, have some fun. So thanks for listening and watching this and uh, hopefully this helped.